In today's video, we're going to talk about the third essential element of comprehensive candidate screening, the social media assessment. In our world, social media is a prolific force in our culture. Consider for a moment all the photos and videos that are shared, liked, and viewed each day. It almost feels as if our world is living out loud right before our eyes. And we know that oftentimes what happens in the social spaces stays on the internet for a very long time. And while it may seem overwhelming to incorporate a social media assessment into your candidate screening process, I promise you the effort is well worth the benefit. By incorporating a social media assessment, you'll be able to determine whether or not a candidate is a good fit for your organization. You'll also increase safety for staff, volunteers, and the families you serve, and it will help you to uncover additional skills, interests, or experiences often not mentioned early on in the screening process. Examples include speaking a second language, playing a musical instrument, or traveling abroad, all of which can enhance your program's offerings. So how do you conduct an effective social media assessment and incorporate it into your overall candidate screening process? Here are some tips to get you started. First, inform the candidate of the steps in the overall screening process. Let them know that a social media release form will accompany their application and background check information. This will provide the opportunity for them to give consent, which is important. Next, make sure that the candidate is clear on exactly what social media information will be gathered. This could include the last 12 months of Facebook posts or their Instagram feeds six months prior. It's important that they understand what is going to be looked at and who's going to be doing the research. Is it going to be somebody in your organization or a third party? Next, outline the process for the candidate to ask questions about the results and refute findings if necessary. Never ask an applicant for their social media IDs or passwords. You run the risk of violating the Federal Stored Communications Act. Finally, Create a first impression in person after the candidate has completed their application, passed the background check, and consented to the social media assessment. This helps to eliminate any bias and reduces risk for your organization. As you can see, using a social media assessment is a good use of time and effort, and it can help you to eliminate a poor hiring decision and raise red flags on unwanted behavior. Well, that's all I have for today. If you'd like more information about candidate screening, I encourage you to visit kidcheck.com backslash blog. It's all right there. You can search under screening. And join me next time as we talk about the fourth essential element of comprehensive candidate screening, the references, both personal and organizational. Take care.